All right, so the mailman just dropped off these, the Bose QC45s, actually it was a male lady. Uh, really nice chick. We are going to unbox them today. We're gonna to check them out because it's rare that I pre-order um, some expensive tech at full price. These are 500 Australian dollars. Um, however, I'm really looking forward to this one. Woo! As you can see, I've uh, purchased the white option. I can't remember what it was actually called, something white. I'll put it on the screen if it doesn't say it here. How did I cut myself? Was that then? Some unboxing should not be so damn dangerous. Anyway, let's get them open. Alrighty, let's do it. <laughs> ah! I'm actually real pumped. All right, we get our cable, little three and a half mil to two and a half. Two and a half goes into the headset. A bit of, I presume, just extra foam for packing. Oh, dude. They're actually a lot lighter than I was expecting. I would say this is a USB C cable. For charging. They actually don't have an airplane jack in the box. My QC25s do. I love this white, dude. Oh, oh they're like clouds. Yeah, that's nice. About three notches. We've got our general notch stepping. These just look really sweet. So how do I even turn them on? There's a switch on the side here. I'm gonna toggle that across. Oh, it's making noise. Ooh. That was some like, Pretend surround sound type thing. So I said to start, set up, download the Bose music app. And I can already hear that noise cancelling working because it sounds really weird trying to talk to you guys through this right now. I'm getting a fair bit of like cabin pressure more than my um, Bose QC25s. All right, so I've turned Bluetooth off and on on my Pixel 5. It's now trying to pair. It's connected. Let's go. Bose Quiet Comfort 45s. Yeah, that's that's these. It's like the name for your Bose product. <laughs> Man, these are lit. Alabaster Stone, Static Fog, Milky Ways. <gasps> that sounds cool. Yeah, because they're like white. Let's go. Okay, so for audio control, we have pressed the center button on the right ear cup to play or pause. Oh yes, it's right here. Gotcha. Up and down buttons to control. Double press to go forwards. And I would say triple one to go back. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Bose. That's just st straightforward standard. I'm sick of these headphones coming up with weird things. That is clear cut, same as you would have on like on a button. All right, if I press this button, it should switch between aware mode. Whoa, dude, I can hear myself speak. It's almost like the noise floor got lifted a little bit as well, like the airiness in the headphones, and I sound quite hollow, but it's bringing, yeah, microphones are bringing in voice and sounds from the outside inside, tap it one more time, and we should go into quiet mode. Yeah, that sounds normal. It's like, it sounds like I'm wearing earmuffs. I can't hear anything. Press and hold the send a button on your cup to activate voice assistant. Oh, Google popped up. Hey Google, turn on studio. Cool. These studio lights are pretty bright, so you probably didn't see the rest of the lights turn on. That's sick. I thought I read online that it doesn't work with Google Assistant, so that's good to see it does work. All right, well, I'm gonna have a listen to some beats and do some testing, and I'll let you know my initial thoughts. So whilst chilling on the beanbag, listening to some tunes, I come up with an idea for a test. So we're currently simulating being in a coffee house. There's noise playing over the speakers. I'm gonna stick this uh, in my ear and put the headphones on. So apparently we're most we should still hear people talking. Quiet. Very faint. Aware. Quiet. Alright, now test for a plane in Sierra with some general drone. Quiet. I can't hear any of it, honestly. That's what leaves are made for. Aware. Not bad. I then took the boys out for their walk. With noise cancelling on, the only thing I could really hear was the crunch of dirt under my feet. Everything else was blanked out. Whilst walking outside, I preferred the aware mode because I could hear my surroundings and things like birds chirping. 
Now you can utilize the quiet and aware mode when wired into a device without Bluetooth. The supplied cable gives you a 3.5 mil jack, so you would need to use your own adapter for any quarter inch devices. You can also use these when they're turned off or flat with just the wired cable. When I was unboxing them, I read in the safety manual that you shouldn't use adapters to plug them into airplane seat jacks. I called Bose and the tech rep confirmed this, that's probably why they don't ship one of the airplane adapters in the box anymore. Now whilst I was onto the phone to the tech, I asked if they have any IP certification and she said that they're IPX4, so they're water resistant. This means that you could get caught in the rain and get a couple splashes, that's fine. Um, and if you're working out, sweat will also be fine. She really emphasized they're not waterproof, so don't try and swim with them or shower with them on, if you're thinking of that. <laughs> um, I did jump around and test their clamping force. They didn't move at all, so I wouldn't worry about these falling off your head. Okay, let's talk some specifics. Originally, Bose listed the weight as 440 grams on the website, and that freaked out a stack of tech reviewers. Thankfully, they're not that heavy. That was actually the total box package shipping weight. Uh, they actually come in at 237 grams. Now, although there's a lot of plastic, there's zero creaking when bending them. They have a really nice solid build feel and a matte surface on the ear caps. So where the logo once was raised on the QC35s, they've now painted it on for a much sleeker finish. There's glossy plastic for your button, so these should be nice and easy to clean, especially if you've got the white model, and a fake leather on the headband. I will, however, miss the fabric found on my QC25s. Speaking of fabric, if you pull back the inside of the cups, you can reveal regulatory information on the left ear cup, and on the right, you'll find your serial number. The only issue I've had so far is sometimes pressing the quiet aware button doesn't always register an input. It will tactilely bump, um, but it doesn't do anything. And I think that's because I'm pressing it on the side and not directly on the center. Um, so every time I pressed it firmly, it definitely works. I do love having physical tactile buttons on headphones opposed to uh, a touch or swipe gesture control. There's no way to accidentally touch or interact with the headphones. And if you wear gloves, uh, you can also easily interact and navigate with those buttons. With Bluetooth 5.1, the QC45s are rated at nine meters for a reliable connection. I've gone roughly 15 meters with line of sight completely free. Actually, when I was filming the shots in the cinema room, I ran down here to the studio to grab a lens and I reached into my pocket to change the song and then I realized that my phone was back at the other end of the house, like 20 meters away through four walls and these were just solid connection, like it didn't drop or cut out at all. That's really impressive, but it is important to note that I've got a Pixel 5 transmitting the data. So whatever phone you've got, your mileage may vary. Having a peep into dev mode, we can see we've got SBC and AAC transcoding support. Now AAC is perfectly fine for watching videos and playing games, because it's got a low enough latency over that Bluetooth connection. The things on screen appear in sync when they're happening. However, the 44.1 kilohertz and no aptX HD support means these aren't gonna win any high res or high fidelity awards in the codec department. But that Bluetooth 5.1 connection can hold two devices so you can seamlessly switch between say your phone and iPad with whatever is playing on the screen. Right, you're now listening to the Bose built-in microphone. One, two, three, test. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. That's what it sounds like. The final spec worth mentioning is it's got USB-C for charging. This has a claimed 24 hours battery life. I have no idea if this is true because I'm not gonna sit here for a day straight wearing headphones, but it's meant to charge fully in two and a half hours and off of a 15 minute charge, you should get three hours of playback. So a bit of quick charging going on there. All right, sound quality, the most debatable topic of headphones. Um, you can talk about specs and features, you can't argue with some of those things. When it comes to personal preference, sound signature, EQ, that's very debatable. So I believe it's important for you to know where I'm coming from as far as headphones. Generally, I'm using Audio-Technica ADH-ADG1s when I'm at my desk. If I'm chilling listening to music, I'm using Philips Fidelio X2HRs. These are high-res headphones. Both of these are wide and open back with angled drivers. Here we have Bose QC25s. These are when I'm out and about or in the office trying to focus on something and I need noise cancelling. And I also have on hand my wife's Bose Studio 3 headphones. These are her go-to choice of headphones. Now, the first thing I noticed when I put on the Bose QC45s is that the highs are very clean and crisp. Like hi-hats, steel strings and acoustic guitar, they all cut through very cleanly, no distortion. The sound stage is wider than my QC25s, which is a great thing to see because I use open back headphones 
primarily to get that wider soundstage. So instruments definitely sound like they're spread out a little bit more and they're not closed in like closed back headphones can produce. According to the Bose website, they have a tri-vent port design. I can only see two on the outside here. However, that is one more than the QC35s, so that might be helping to that wider stereo separation. As far as bass is concerned, they're nowhere near as bassy as a pair of Beats. Uh, that's to be expected, however. They are tighter, much cleaner and tidier uh, in the bass department, and there's a lot. If you put on some EDM or something like some J. Cole, some hip hop, it is very, very punchy bass. They also have something called adaptive EQ, where it tweaks the sound signature between the volume levels to remain consistent. So at 20%, it should sound the same as 80%, but just quieter. This is noticeable when you compare it to something like the Beats. At 50%, the bass kicks in and then it becomes really overpowering when you go beyond. So it's not the same amount of bass throughout all of the volume levels. The 45s do a great job of trying to counteract those lower listening volumes. Anything beyond 90% is way too loud. Like I used to DJ nightclubs for many years and anything over 90% on these is like unbearably loud. They, they definitely crank up. I plugged them into my audio interface to also listen to some lossless files and yeah, they really came alive with that extra bit rate. So just remember these aren't Bluetooth only, you can wire them in. All right, so back in the home theater, AKA the cafe, we've got lots of chit chatter going on. We're gonna compare the noise canceling of the QC25s, the Beat Studio 3s and the QC45. So let's get into it. So for noise cancelling, they kill it. They just go all out cancelling as much sound as it can. There's no way to tune it like you could on the Bose 700s, or you can't even like tweak EQ on an app like you can in most other flagship $500 headphones. What you get is what you get. And it's not bad, it's just you can't customize it. But the other major reason you would buy the Bose QC45s, well it's in its name, quiet comfort. The comfort, they are so, Damn, comfortable. The extra space inside the cups is a must have for me because my ear does not get touched or squished like the does on something like the Beats and the Sony XM4s. I couldn't stand having my ear pushed against my head. So the Bose QC45s are quiet, comfortable, name checks out, they look freaking good. Like, look at, look at that colorway. I'm stoked with this like smoke white color that they've got. If my opinion changes at all from what I shared today, I'll pin a comment down below, letting you know what's going on. I'll also drop a comment in the description if you wanna buy some of these. They're pretty expensive, but hey, if you use my link, I'll appreciate it. If you liked today's video, thumbs it. If you loved it, sub it, and I'll see you in the next one.